this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Zion Crane M3S and in particular how well that gimbal works with the Sony A6700 when paired with the three Sigma Prime lenses, the 16, the 30mm and the 56mm, as well as we're also going to chuck on the 18 to 50mm 2.8 zoom lens. Just a quick couple of notes before we get into the test. I'm going to be using an ND filter on all the lenses because I'm shooting in S-Log3. Chances are if you're shooting in daylight you're going to be needing to use ND filters so I wanted the test to be as true to life as possible. And also this is completely unsponsored and unbiased. I've not been sent any of this gear. It's all my own stuff that I've bought with my own money. I just want to see how well it all works together and I thought you guys might be interested in that as well. Let's jump straight into it. As you can see, I'm going to test each lens out with a walking and running scenario and I'm going to let each one of these clips play for about 5 or 6 seconds or so just so you guys can get a decent idea of how well they're working. Moving on to the Sigma 30mm. If the video is coming in useful, please do think about liking and subscribing, it really helps out. Next up is the 56mm. Finally the 18 to 50 mil with the lens extended right out to the 50 mil setting just so we can really try and stress the gimbal to see how well it will balance. Now let's check out all those shots in a quick side by side comparison. Okay, so final thoughts on that little test. I was quite happy to see that they all balanced well. I know on the Zion site, they're quite specific with what camera bodies and what lens combinations will balance properly on this gimbal. And a couple of these lenses aren't on that list. That's why I kind of wanted to just test them out, but I can't say that I experienced any issues. They all balanced okay. They all seemed to operate okay. Didn't have any issues. So yeah, pretty good to know really. The only one thing worth noting is that I actually had to remove the ND filter from the 18 to 50 mil because obviously the aperture is a bit smaller than the other lenses and it was getting a little bit darker outside the minimum setting on the ND filter still wasn't letting enough light in so I had to take it off so, just so you know it did balance but I just had to take it off for that specific shot I actually used this exact setup for a recent music video I've just shot which you might have seen on the channel I'll leave a link to it around here somewhere so you can go and check it out but that was with this gimbal and the Sigma 30 mil admittedly I was in the back of a car while I was shooting it but I think it came out looking pretty professional so it's nice to know that you know I can go out and use this for some sort of proper gigs and stuff on a final note, if you like the tracks that were playing in this video, they were downloaded from Audio. I've got a link to them down in the description and also a discount code which I'll flash up now which will save you 70% off of a year's subscription. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the vid. See you again in the next one. Like and subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.